Hello, truckers and adventurers. Welcome back to SnowRunner in Maine. Yellow Rock map. Uh, we're going to hop into the con first thing this morning. And head on over and get the scout trailer that has the fuel in it. And bring it on up to our vehicles that are in the river. I want to get out our truck. Uh, I mean, it's, it's almost out of the river. But we need fuel. And I'm out of fuel pretty much on all, on all vehicles up there. So... Uh, bring the scout trailer up there with the fuel in it, and that way we can go ahead and take care of that. On the way back, though, with the... Ooh, I uh, just fell into the river. Uh, on the way back, there is a metal uh, factory up there. I need to go up there to see if I need to bring a generator up there, or is that going to... this? I, I probably got to bring a generator. I'm going to assume that, but... We'll pop on up there. What I actually got activated for a job is to access to civilization. That will open up one of the gateways. And I was trying to see, you know, how to approach that job. And there's a few ways I could approach it. Uh, I'm putting that off just a little bit because uh, it's one of those things. I, I'm just not sure exactly how I want to approach it. There's just uh, so many different ways I could. And, you know, I'm trying to find the easiest way to get it done. And it's not really a simple way of doing it. But we'll see. But first thing is, I would like to get my... Is it a Tega or a Taga? Whatever it is. However I say it, it's probably going to be wrong. Uh, I need to get that truck out of the river. Because I'm going to need that for here. In the future. So we need fuel. And that is where we're headed up. I think I found the scout trailer on the mini-map. That's why I got marked. So it should be right up here, I'd assume. I don't know how much fuel is left in there. As we scooch up the hill. I have to use the wench to bring it down because I don't have a hitch on here. Yep, so that was it on the mini-map. Perfect. And this is as far as we made it with the, the the international with the crane on it last time when we ran out of fuel. So that's why we, we stopped it off here because we had to top off that. And then we, we all just took off. I left the trailer here. Okay, we're attached. All right, nope, uh, forward would be good. I wonder how this is gonna go across the river. Probably not the best, but we shall see here in just a moment. Like I said, the way back through, I wanna stop off at the metalworks just to see if there's a spot for a generator there as well. Probably the wise thing to do is uh, just have one generator over here. The two buildings are not that far apart. So, whatever building I need to run, I could just bring the generator to that building. The cement building, I gotta bring cement over to make concrete slabs and all that kind of stuff. The metal works, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to bring metal rolls over. So that's probably gotta be coming from the other map. But we'll, you know, so many different things I still need to do here. And I don't really have a good sense of what order I want to do them in. But getting the gateway open would be... I've talked about it many times. Very, very good for us because the gateway that we're opening is over by the fuel station over here. So when I leave the garage, Evan's garage, on the other map, and I take the gateway to there, I don't have to go far to get to the fuel station that I can top off the fuel, and of course, we'd be good to go, quote unquote. Need to avoid that bush to the right of me because last time I kept getting stuck in that thing. I'm not going to ask for fuel in the Marshall unless I really need it. Don't remember exactly how much is in here in the tanker. I'm going to try to avoid going in that hole there. Come on, don't, don't, uh... Why am I sinking? Come on, Marshall, you got big tires on there and we're sinking in. Can I get out of here? Reverse would be good. Maybe I'll try the other side? Maybe the ice is a little bit thicker over here. No, I'm going to sink on through the ice. Alright, how about if I release that? Can I just get far enough ahead? If I remember, the winch on this reaches kind of far.
Well, I mean, I am moving forward, but can we climb on top of the ice? That'd be good. Oh, it's getting a little crunchy there, so maybe. Can I still reach? I can, so let me just drag that closer. All right, I'll release that. Oh, come on, Jeep, get up there. I said Jeep, it's a Marshall. All right, let me see where I'm going. No, don't pull me. You're going to try to pull me into the river. I don't want that. No one wants that. So the trailer is digging into the river. Let me pull that closer. Oop. Okay, I thought I was going to float on top, but it's not. All right, let me release that again. Get over here. Hopefully we can reach that. Oh, wow, we can. I wasn't expecting to, actually. Come on. You can make it. We got to do this a couple more times, though. So just keep on coming. This is almost as hard as when I brought the International across here. I was not expecting that to... Uh, fall on through. Well, let me get up on solid ground. Alright, let me put on diff lock. We're in low... Uh, let me put it in low, low. There we go. I think. We're not out of clear yet. Kind of the good thing about SnowRunner in some sense. You can see I'm like just breaking through the ice there. I think if I were to exit the game, come back in, that would all be back right where it was. Uh, it would freeze back over. Put it in low, low. Uh, let me try to go over here. All right, so we made it to here, which is good. <laughs> Uh, all right, but while we're here, I need to get up here. And I think we're just going to bully our way up there. In other words, uh, we'll find a way. But I think, because in case I get stuck, I want to be sure I got plenty to get up there. Let's go ahead and refuel. Uh, seems like I got a lot of fuel, so let's go ahead and we'll fuel that up. And you know what? Let's go ahead and fuel up the roof rack while we're at it. We're not going to take that much. Alright, so we're fine here. Alright, leave that there for a second. Let's turn around. Because I really haven't unlocked the metal works factory. I mean, we can see in the map, but it's not clear. It's kind of faded out. Um, okay, hopefully I don't fall through too far when I go around the corner here. I don't know where the road is that goes up. That's the problem. I, I don't know where up is. I thought I was on solid ground, but I'm sinking through the ice. Uh, we got a tree in front of us, though. Okay, let's just go up the hill here. Yeah, I thought it was this going to be right up here on top of the hill, but it's not. Once I'm up here, I'll be able to see where to go. Maybe. Alright, I just need to find a way to break through the fence. Yeah, shows a spot for the generator now. Okay, so there's the road. It goes out that way, which is kind of away from the other road. Alright, so yes, it does need a generator. Not much of a surprise there. Alright, let me just break through the fence here. And... I 
don't think I want to go down that way. All right, probably the way I came up. This could be the best way to go. Let's not... I mean, I, you know, if we roll over, it's not that big of a deal because we got the battery-operated winch on here. Let's not take the chance. Can I get down through there? Probably not. So let's follow my tire tracks that I made on the way up here. Just go back the way we came. And let's go see if I can get my Taga truck out of there. It's almost out of the river. It's kind of wenched up to the truck that needs to be repaired and refueled. I could refuel it. It's somewhat repaired. But that's about it. Back around the corner here. Let's not get stuck here. I don't think I will. I should have something to wench to, right? Well, that tree's not going to help me out too much. Don't need it, though. We're out. And then cross the river for like the fifth time already. Right here. Alright, so we're 10 minutes in, and I so far haven't really, I don't want to say I haven't done much. <laughs> but Need to do all these things. All right, put it back in gear and let's roll slowly. Once we get on the road, hopefully this will go a little bit better. Yeah, I really just want to get my Taga out of the river. And I guess for that job with the truck, I'm either going to have to bring a repair vehicle to it because the roof rack on here is not going to be enough. It doesn't do enough. Or I could just make one of my trucks have a repair on the back of it. Instead of like a flatbed or a crane or whatever. I think that could service it all the way. I think I did fix the fuel tank though. So I should be able to put some fuel in the truck itself. All right, let me just think. I think I want to go up and around here. Do I not? I think I want to go up here. Yes. I want to go up here. We'll just mark that right there. And then uh, we can get over to the trucks. I've taken the route a couple times, so it shouldn't be that hard to find. I may just leave the fuel cell, the, the fuel trailer at the metalworks. Oh, sorry, the concrete. The concrete works instead of bring it down to the river because I got 80 liters of fuel on top of the roof rack. And I, I can always go back and forth with a marshal. Take fuel, bring it over, take fuel, bring it over. Because I may need fuel for the generator at some point. So leaving the fuel cell up here is what I want to do. I mean, the best thing to do would be nice be nice to bring up a big trailer but maybe in the future we'll, we'll, <laughs> one step at a time I guess okay, let's bring this in here for now uh, can I put the trailer anywhere now we'll just leave it right right there all right let's break on through to the other side of this fence oh, I probably just went right back out I didn't realize there was a guardrail there so now I'm in the snow we all know how much we're loving the snow here this down around here about a hundred meters or so
I'm, I'm kind of liking the way this challenge is set up here for the main region. It's not just everything's on one map. It's almost like whatever I need on one map, it's got to come from the other map. Just burning through way too much fuel just to get down and around here. I don't know, I just thought these tires like on a Marshall like this would get through this stuff a little bit easier. around this next knoll to our left and all of our trucks should be down there wait is it this one here or the next one uh that was that one but i guess it's this next one up here yep next one actually you can still see the tire marks Alright, I would like to get close enough to Okay, we're not gonna be able to get up there or let me put diff lock on, that may help. Or not, okay. <laughs> okay. Didn't think it was gonna be having that much issue getting over a rock. Must be icy being next to the river. How about if I, uh... No, I don't want to attach to that one. No, okay. Just keep on attaching that. That's not what I want to attach to. That's all I needed help with. Alright, so the problem I currently have is... Yeah, that's my truck right there that's upright. In order to get that out, I gotta move that truck as well. So, yeah. Uh, park and brake, let me turn off the engine here. All right, I want to change trucks. Hopefully I'm in range. A and K, roof rat. There we go. And target is us. Um, yeah, we'll take all 80. I don't think I can try it. Yeah, I thought I might be able just to back straight up. Kind of. Diff lock and all-wheel drive is on. I am moving. The problem is, as I mentioned, that truck is in the way. Come on, I was hoping the back end would get around that. Oop, will it? Come on, get around that. I don't think the ground texture is liking what's going on here. It's kind of flickering around everywhere. Oh, no, 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 no. Get me upright. Thank you. The Jeep is kind of hung up on the trees. Ha, ha, ha. We are free, I think. Now, let's not get too excited, though. All right, let's see if I can get this up to the concrete workshop where the fuel tanker is. Problem is, by the time I do all this, I may not have any fuel left in that tanker if I do need it for the generator in the future.
There, we got this truck out. I don't want to use this truck to get out the uh, damaged truck. We'll leave the crane, the international, with the crane there. Uh, let's go ahead and get this to where it can refuel. Just remember, if I recall it, it's going to go back to the lowlands, the other region in Maine, to Matt Devon's garage. It doesn't recall here. It's going to go back to the other map. And until I unlock the other gateway, that's a, that's a, that's a bit off from where we need it to be. Not to say that it'd be the worst thing in the world. I could use this truck over there to bring stuff over, of course. I'll just cut right across here. There we go. I want to be wise about this, but I'm going to take a whole bunch of fuel out of this thing. Okay, let's turn that off. Rescuing the rescue vehicle that was going to rescue the other vehicle. Uh, makes sense. Uh, yeah, so refuel. That's going to leave only about 200 liters left in that thing. Two hundred fifty-four. Uh, but at least this truck now has full fuel and it's not damaged either. I didn't damage it while I was over there? All right, so be it. Uh, it's not damaged. We're fine with it. All right, let me go ahead and exit out of there. All right, so I really wanted to get this done today. We got that, done. not rescue the vehicle, but at least get the situation a little bit more under control, which I think we are. Uh, we're gonna skip back over to the lowlands. And the next thing we're gonna do, <laughs> so he says, is uh, we're gonna grab the trailer because to get that uh, northeastern tunnel open, we need four metal beams and two concrete slabs. Well, in Yellow Rock, if I go to there, this is where we got to bring the material. Uh, this warehouse here has metal beams. So if I bring our truck over, our Varongrad with the long trailer, I should be able to put two of the metal beams on there and get those delivered. We're going to try doing that. Uh, is it going to work? We're about to find out. Uh, so we got to go back to here. We'll get into the Bongrad, Verongrad. I don't know how it's actually pronounced. I'm probably going to bring it to the garage to get it repaired. Uh, local map. Yep, 37% fuel. So let's go ahead and we'll drop off the trailer. We're going to grab it in just a second, but... Did if I get out of that, I'm like, why won't the truck start? Let's spin around. Oh, this does have the crane on it. Okay, that's good. I may need that. Never know. All right, and then leave garage. All right, let's go grab the trailer. So this too has a 330 liter fuel cell. I just really need to make it to the fuel station on the other map when I get over there. Might be a long ask of it, but we'll see what we can do. All right, and let's go ahead and attach trailer. And spin around. 
as much as the Varangrad can spin around. So we gotta go to where the only gateway is. Now this should be able to hold two metal beams. Now let me throw an all-wheel drive going through this stuff. So I got chains on this. And that should help me get through the snow and ice a little bit better. I'm still going to try to avoid it. I would like to get to the other map, the Yellow Rock with still 200 liters of fuel in the fuel cell. That is going to be my goal. But we still got to get across all this. We got to cross the river coming up. And it's going to be a little bit harder than usual because we were bringing the flatbed with us. Now, we do have concrete slabs right up the hill at the warehouse that we've been going to. And instead of making the concrete slabs on the end of the map, I may just go ahead and use a truck to grab them at the warehouse up here and bring them over. I may bring the... Uh, well, the ANK, I just want to be able to get, to get them to the other map. So I don't know if bringing the ANK with the, fo the small fuel cell over there with the trailer. I just get them over to the gateway, then I can come back with this truck and then pick up the slabs and not have to cross the river. Kind of transport them over. And I can do that because this truck has the crane on it so I can lift them off the ANK flatbed and also the trailer. Concrete slabs take up two spots. Just like the metal beams take up two uh, spots. This trailer can hold five. But right now, we just want to get to the other map, try to get two metal beams and see how far I can get before I run out of fuel, then I may have to use the marshal to uh, refuel it on up with something. Yeah, just using up a lot of fuel in this truck. Try not to go through areas with thick mud, but it's kind of hard when you're driving around in this kind of a condition. But once I get to the other side of this river, sounds easier than it is. I want to go where that white rock or is it ice? I have no idea what it actually is. And then as we go alongside the riverbank and where you see the white snow on the steep hill over there, that's where the asphalt road is. It looks like it's just rock right there. Why did the engine stall out there? When it does that, it just confuses me of why it does it. Oh, that tree we can't push over. Alright.
All right, so we're at 256 liters of fuel left. Like I said, I'd like to get to the other map with at least 200. Yeah, what I may have to do once we get over there is I may have to use the marshal. I may have to refuel from that trailer. And then probably drive all the way down to the fuel station to top off the marshal again and top off the roof rack and then go to wherever, how far I got with this and give it some fuel. But 80 liters is not going to fill the fuel cell here, of course. I may, I may actually just have to get uh, another truck and buy a fuel tanker, a big fuel tanker, not a fifth wheel fuel tanker, a, a trailer fuel tanker, and bring it over to the other map. And all wheel drive, turn that off. So when we get to the other map, I'll probably advance to the morning hours. But we are going to get there with more than 200 liters of fuel, so that, that's a good start. Although, i got to get over those rocks on the other map. So we'll see if we can do that. Although, we did it with the International and the Crane, but that's got five axles on it. Alright, it's... Uh, it's almost night time, so 6 a.m. So I need to get to that warehouse. Don't think I've actually been to that warehouse yet. All right, give me damage to the suspension right there. That's not a good start, but luckily there's only one damage. Alright, so just around this corner is the rock slide that we've been going over. Right, let me put it in low plus. Uh, diff lock might be good here. No! Do I have anything... Oh, I got something to winch to. Thank you, devs, for, for putting a nice, strong tree there. We needed that. Uh, diff lock off. Oh, we'll drive off. Oh, slipping in the slide. So there is a limit to how many metal beams are here. I think it was five. And we're going to grab four of them. So those are concrete blocks. We needed slabs. Spare parts. Metal rolls. So metal rolls I could bring over to the metal uh, factory and make stuff. But it's only got six rolls here. So not, I don't know how many... So someone does know. Do, do like the rolls go a long ways of making a lot of material. I kind of forgot. I know it says that when you're over there, like, it'll say, like, uh, one... It'll, it'll take two rolls to make two metal beams or something. Uh, but we want the metal beams, so... So you can see in the bottom, where it says trailer and the, it's flashing, it shows uh, two blocks, because metal beams take up two, as I was saying before. So, yeah, we're going to grab two of those. All right, and back out. So, I don't know if I want to just... Go along here. And then, of course, go to about here-ish. No, it's actually here. Then we cross here. I'm just going to mark that out for now. Okay, this 
just need to turn around. So overall, we got to bring six pieces of material over to open up this gateway. And this is the first two. So basically three trips if I keep using this truck. Right about now, we're down to that 200 liters I was referring to earlier. I need that sun to come up so I can see the angles of the terrain a little bit better. The good thing so far, as I said about this Varongrad truck, uh, we're going through like a lot of terrain just like this, which, you know, sometimes you need all-wheel drive or something. And we're going through here without any of that turned on. So that saves us fuel. Well, I'm not going to really get into that marker. Hopefully it's close enough and it'll switch off. Oh, it did. Okay. Now all I know is, I know what gateway we're opening up on this map. But I don't know what gateway that is tied to on the other map. Not a clue. That sun is starting to peek over the hill, I think, because I'm starting to see the terrain a little bit better. Not too concerned if the cargo comes unpacked and slides off because we got the crane with us. The one thing I just don't want to do is roll over the truck. I don't know why, but I should have, because uh, I used a mouse to look left and right. I should, because the quick, the quick winch button is actually on my side panel. I should have it on the mouse, because my hand's on the mouse when I'm looking around. So if the truck were to start tipping over, I can look the opposite way that it's tipping over and winch is something to save myself from flipping over. So opening up the gateway will lead to us fixing the bridge, which will lead to us uh, having easier access to the concrete and metal works. Be careful that ditch on the right hand side. But now, you should be familiar with this as well. We're getting ready to go down and cross the river to the other side. Should be a low, low plus to get through here. And still 160 liters. I say sounds like a lot. I mean, it kind of is. We're about a half a tank. So I'm starting to think I might be able to actually get to the fuel station, which would be just great. And knowing I can get from the gateway that we got now down to the fuel station, if this has a full tank of fuel, um, well, actually, no, because I'll need to drive. <laughs> I would need to drive from the fuel station to the gateway and then back. But I think uh, we might be able to do it on a full tank with a Varan Grad. If I don't run into issues like getting stuck and spend a few minutes trying to get out. I 
I mean, 12 liters a minute is not that bad for hauling a trailer with cargo on the back of it. All right, getting that marker. All right now, we're going to go down and cross the river, I hope. Careful. I think I damaged the International a little bit with the crane on it when it came through here. I'll use the winch to help us get across the river. Probably should put all-wheel drive on to get across here. So we go from 12 liters a minute up to almost 20. So before I started recording, I was trying to think of what I wanted to do today, and this is uh, part of it. I was thinking, if I could make it across this little stream here, before I ran out of fuel, I'd be happy. So I guess I consider myself happy at this point, because I'm, I mean, I'm here. I haven't marked beyond that, I don't think, but I know I gotta go to the left. And until I get more ro roads open, the only thing that kinda sucks is I'm taking the same pathway back and forth quite often. Although I try to mix it up in the episode so I'm not repeating it too much. So I mean, like to get this gateway open, I gotta bring this truck and trailer back to get two more beams. And then I'll probably go back to near the gateway to meet another truck with a trailer with a concrete slabs from the Lowlands map. Or bring cement over to make the concrete slabs at the cement uh, production building here on this map. We turn off all-wheel drive just to save on the fuel. I don't know if I need it here. It looks like I really didn't. Now I'm just kind of hoping get to the fuel station. Because if I don't have to bring the Marsha all the way down to refuel this right now, that make me happy. Because that way I can keep the Marsha up there and I won't have to use the fuel just to get the Marsha down here to refuel. I mean, at some point I'm going to have to anyways. Unless I recall the Marsha back to Evan's garage. Which I may end up doing. Who knows? So it seems like you guys are starting to like uh, having the two episodes per week. Um, there's a slight chance, I'm not promising anything, but I might be able to do three episodes a week in the future, only because my time at Sandrock series that I do on my channel, that will be coming to a close kind of soon. And when that, of course, I'll, I do two episodes a week on that, so I'll free up some time to do some other things. But I know there's a couple of the games that'll be coming out 
I, I don't know exact, the exact date, but they were supposed to come out in quarter two of 2024, which we are in, so... Maybe in the future we might do three episodes a week. Oh, don't slide down that rock. Come on, get a grip. Yeah, winch me up. Ooh, no, 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 I don't like that trailer tipping over. I think you're still sucking my trailer down that hill. We don't want that. Still 78 liters. Okay, well, I got to make it around this rock, go up the hill, around the log cabin. But once we get out to the asphalt, it's all downhill and icy. So I got about seven minutes of fuel left at the current rate that we're going. Pick up the pace a little bit. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, I'm thinking. Well, I'm thinking a lot of things, but <laughs> probably gonna have to get like a fuel trailer over here. These scout trailers are nice. I mean, it's got me this far on the map to the point where we're at. But getting a trailer up where the marshal is and everything like that would be good. There might be one up there, too. I don't know. There could be one hitting, hit, hidden in the shadows somewhere that I haven't seen. Right, I'm not going to go up the hill and try to hug the guardrail in between the trees with this setup here. We'll take the exit out of here. Okay, that was not my best moment ever. Thought I was going to get around that tree, but I misjudged it by a loss. And damaging the engine is not what you want to be doing, because now the engine is going to use a little bit more fuel. Well, normally I would go up that hill right there, but there's a guardrail where the road is. Okay, we're down to about five minutes of fuel left. So all depends on how fast I get up this, this hill, but we're almost right out to the main road. And then I can put an automatic and we should be able to gain a lot of speed going downhill. Not too much speed though, because I'm going to spin out of control. But I'm feeling good about reaching the fuel station now. I'm like 95% sure. And I know the gateway that we got to get to to drop this off is not that far, but I'm not going past the fuel station without topping off with some fuel. All right, automatic, and let's just be a little bit careful going down the hill here. So yeah, we're down to about, still using only 10 liters per minute, but the speed that we're going. Oh yeah, and probably not just a fuel trailer bring over here, but a service trailer as well because I have no way to fix anything over here yet. All right, give me some fuel. Ah, that feels so good. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. I think I got room to turn around up here once I drop these off. Uh, 
I'm not sure what that trailer over there is for. It's going to be for something eventually. Well, yes, we didn't make it this far. Let me go ahead and just take a picture here. In case I forget to take one for the thumbnail, this will probably, yeah. Uh, I always take, forget to take a picture anyways. Uh, but let's go ahead and... Alright, one trip down, two more to go. Let's just get back on down to the fuel station, and I'll top us off with fuel once again. But it's time to make the same trip back to that warehouse to grab the other two beams. Probably should, uh, when I edit this video, which is not much of an editing, editing I gotta do, I need to look at, when I was at the warehouse, did I have like 200 liters of fuel? Or like 220? To get to the fuel, I think I had 50 liters left, so that's like 150 liters of fuel from that warehouse down to the fuel station. So if it's 150 liters of fuel, so, a round trip from the fuel station to the warehouse and back should be 300 liters. And we got a 330 liter tank. That is cutting it kind of close. Uh, I'm not sure I like those odds that much. And I'm just rounding off some num numbers there. But, if it works, it works. Uh, but what won't work, I don't think, is getting over to the gateway to go pick up the concrete slab and load them on here. Let me just go ahead and park this here, turn off the engine, and there we go. So, that, whoop, that's the wrong button for this game. Gotta hit that button for the map. Uh, so, not too bad. We got uh, one trip out of three done for this gateway here. That says Northeast Tunnel. Which, I mean, it is in the northeast. Uh, we got our Tega out. And that is still up here. That's full of fuel. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. Because we went this way once and I fell through the ice with the heavy equipment. So, that's not the best way to go. Oh, wait. I didn't see this warehouse before. What's over here? Concrete slabs are over here. I did not see that warehouse before. Now I see it. Oh, and this has unlimited metal rolls, so that is what's going to fuel the metal works building over here. Is there a place for cement on this map? I currently don't see one, but that doesn't mean... Because we got some... There could be a warehouse right here for all I know. Or there could be another one in here for all I know. Don't know. Uh, but yeah, we got our Taga out. That's out of the river. The truck that we got to repair, uh, I'm not going to worry about that too much. I want, like I said, we're going to kind of focus on getting, getting this gateway open and then fixing this bridge. That says Northeast Gateway. Does that, does that show on the other map? Then this says Gateway to Yellow Rock National Forest. Gateway to Yellow Rock National Forest. So I don't know which one is which. When I unlock it, it's gonna, I, I hope it unlocks this one, I think. Do I want it to unlock that one? Probably. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. I mean, it's going to unlock the one it unlocks. But, anyways, that is where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you again right here in SnowRunner. But until then, no, that's Park and Break. I always forget which one the horn is. I don't know where the horn is. Never mind. Uh, but until next time, have a good one.